Hi, this is Kim from Crane's Booksmithing. Hope you guys are doing well. I thought I'd show a little book that I'm making and showing my process about how I would how I go about doing it. I've already had this finished for a long time and just never have gotten to it yet, but I have a cover made already and I've used vintage buttons and um this lace here came from Walmart by the um, bridal um, things and and this piece here is old and I believe it's hand crochet and this part here this little note paper is um, music paper is old and this here came from Graphics Fairy and I have glued it all on and um, I did this is already um this is an old quilt and um it had hand sewing here and um has a little bit under here too. You know, I think that's really, really pretty. So I wanted to make sure I put that in the front. Now it is very thin material and this is a book, an old book. And um, it's a small book. It's not real big. I really, myself, for my own use, like them around this size. I, I feel they're big enough to, to write in and yet small enough to carry around easy. But, you know, everyone prefers different sizes for the way they use things and what's going on with their lives. So, so that's why I do make different sizes. This one, though, for my own self, is the size I prefer. And um, it does have a little staining here. It is old. Um, I think this might be the back side of the fabric because the other side didn't wasn't as nice looking for some reason. I don't know why now. I don't remember, but I did use the back side and I I love the softness that it gives it's very pretty it has very pale little yellows and blues in it of flowers I think that's really pretty and I already have the papers cut out and just just various papers and things that I'm using and here's the inside of it and I've been thinking that maybe I would like to um, put some lace on here. Not this lace, but maybe some other kind. And I feel like a, even though I do like lace hanging out from the sides or the bottom or the top, this to put too much wouldn't, I don't think this book would look good with it. It just doesn't seem right for this one and um though i do like it on a lot of books because it makes it have such a lush feel when you do it that way and, and i think that's really nice now i thought if i do get some lace to put it on the edge i like the way that looks so instead of having a lot hanging out just a little bit I think will really look lovely on it and it's funny how each book has its own style that it calls for even though they're all basically you know of this kind with flowers or birds or what have you of that kind or pretty girl or what have you they all have that same type of feeling but yet they all seem to call for a different look which is kind of fun I, I like how that happens and um this has been tea dyed and i've already had this in here and then with that lace i do put it if it's not if it does if it's bigger i might use it like for a band to tuck things in even though just the edge will stick out like that so there there's that now for the inside pages I've already decorated this one and um, 
This came from an antique store and it's very old. I think it's really lovely and it has little beads on it, it's sort of like a silver, dark silver looking color. It's very, very pretty. And then I found this too at an antique store and it is old, it is a vintage um, postcard, but it's not like super old or anything. But the, it was a, it had, um, this here's a copy of um, this little dog here in the train from 1932, which was fun. So it was a nice, it was very nice. It wasn't bent or anything. And um, I wanted to go ahead and use it that way, but it was, it, it's just too new looking. Even though, you know, it is vintage, it just wasn't beat up or anything so I cut the edges on here and bent this little area here and then put some ink around the edge just to make it look old and um, that way it gives it a better look I think on this side I'm thinking of doing this I've already had this one, I only had this one envelope and it came from an antique store, um, you know, you buy something, they give you a pretty little bag. I do like the paper um, bags that look old, older looking, but this was fun. And um, so I'm going to glue it here for a pocket so that there will be a pocket here. And um, I'm going to use some pretty lace on it. Let's see, I can't seem to see what I've done with it now. Oh, there it is. And um, I have I have it already. I have to iron the piece that I've already cut out. I haven't ironed it yet. It has too many wrinkles after I laundered it. And um, I'm going to put this here like that. And then um, I have this beautiful material that's from a sari and, um, garment. It's, I think it's from India, I believe. And um, I don't know if they make them in America or not. But, um, and then I'm going to cut a piece like this and I'm going to put it like that. And, and um, I'm not going to glue it on because um, I use fiber fix all the time. And um, it's um, really good in that it sticks well and everything. The only thing is that when it dries, it, sh it turns kind of shiny like. And um, I don't like it coming through, so I don't know. I guess, and I hadn't thought of this till just now, I could have glued the back like this and then there wouldn't be any glue at all I could, but I already cut it down so but I and I don't want to cut another piece yet and um, I could have done that I could have glued the back of it I wish I had thought about that but I didn't on and that would have been nice but since I didn't, I'll probably sew it. That way I won't have the shiny glue come through. And um, it's a problem that um, I haven't been able to find a glue that works as well as fiber fix. And um, yet, I don't like the shiny on it. But anyway, so I thought, well, I'll sew it. But if I sew it only here... And this part here is open, and then when you stick something in, if it's too wide, then, well, there's a sewing part, so it doesn't fit in nicely. So I thought, well, it'd be best just to sew the whole side of the pocket all the way down. So that's probably what I'm going to do. And I think that that looks good together. It adds some some strong accent here, and then it is over here too. So I. I think that kind of balances everything. It seems like it does to me. I think that will look pretty good. And then I'll have pretty, there'll be a pocket here and then a pocket here. And, and um, a pocket here. So 
I think that will be nice. And I think that looks pretty good. So that's what I'm going to be doing with that. And I would take time to do it on camera, but I still have to iron. And my camera is on, I'm using my phone and it doesn't, it doesn't stay too long. So I can't take too long to do things. And um, on this side, I glued it. I had thought about sewing this side because I do like sewing them. But the only thing is I didn't want to see the the thread here on this side because of this pretty thing here. I thought it would go against it too much. So didn't want to do that. And so um, I cut this piece here pretty lace and I'm going to use this. Now this is machine made. But it is um, an old piece. I don't know how old, but it is old. And um, I'm going to put it right here. And because it does have the thick part, I'll just put some glue on the thick parts, not the thin parts. And then maybe on the little flowers that are thick in the back where you can't, you won't see the glue as much. And, um... Probably a little bit, maybe, but, but you know, a little bit's better than a whole lot. And so, just put it on the thicker parts. And then I thought maybe put it like that. I think that's very pretty. And then, um, I thought I would, um, I have this business card, and I have already cut, cut it, and put some ink it on the edges, and, um, I thought I'd put it like this. Well, I'm going to take a little um, ticket here and stick here like that. And um, then put it a little like that. Um, I think that would be cute. Uh, my daughter gave me some of these little dollies and um, they were from a she had a party or something for my granddaughter and um something to do with her birthday anyway i don't i don't remember exactly what she did now with them but maybe 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 um i think she made little bags out of them little as the accent to close the bags with and she punched two little holes and tied ribbons on them on the little gift bags little treat bags i mean and um Maybe put it like that. I think that's kind of cute. Maybe that's what I will do. I don't know what I'll do on this side. If I'll leave it plain, which, you know, it'll be like this. Yeah, I think I'll leave that plain because that's pretty. And I'm more into leaving things, you know, not too embellished. I That way you, you can add, like, this. If you see something you like when you buy the book, you can add extra lace like I don't know but you can add your own extra lace to it somehow I don't know oh yeah that would you know make it double or or add a picture or what have you I don't know something and then our here's a piece I found which I liked I'm gonna put it somewhere in the book I'll probably sew it and make it into a little ruffles. And you can put it that way and make your own piece. You can just sew it and then you can just glue it on like that. Which I think that's kind of cute. Or you can put it on the side too, whatever. However you want to do your own book. You know, you can cut out a pretty picture or some flowers and stick on there, which would be nice. But I, I don't like to do too much decorating because of that. Because I do like the person to staple something in, glue something in, hand sew something in, to make it your own, to add your own little pieces to it. And, um, see, and so this side will look like this. I see there's not there's not much going on here so that might be kind of nice like that I think that's kind of cute I don't know if I should do something else or not but I like it 
And um, so that's what I'm doing with that, with this book, and that's how I go about it. Also, I do like a lot of the old magazines. I, I like to put scrapbook things down because I think they add such interest and all of that. And um, so I have these old magazines that are old, and if you buy them where they're already just really pretty much tattered and old, they sell them a lot cheaper. If you try to buy a nicer one, they can go pretty high. But the ones I buy, I'm lucky I have found some that were, were um, you know, the, I already wanted to take them apart anyway, so it didn't matter if the cover and the spine's already torn and things on it. So I thought I already cut this one out. And this is... Um, I might even fold it and put it in like that, since this is a small, a short book. And um, use it like that, because in the scrapbooks they did do that a lot, and I love the feeling that scrapbooks have. And here's a Hope Town. I thought about using some Hope Town things. And I like the coloring and the graphic of this. Um, these watches, lady and man watches, and I thought that is so pretty. So, and this is a nice page too. It wasn't really messed up or anything, so I was glad this had a little tear here. But I'll cut that off, even though it doesn't matter, except that it is old, and you have to be careful with old paper. Um, I like the color of it, the blue, the red, and this here is like a purple, and. Um, I thought that would be pretty in the book. So I'm trying to put things together like that, that have coloring and same coloring and things like that. And I gather some things together, just start trying to work in the book of the same type of feeling I would like to get. I love these sunflowers, and I'm already started cutting one out. And they're opposite of each other, so that will be fun. And here's some other little things that I have collected for this book. I don't know if I'll use them all, but I'm going to try this I made, and I think this would look really nice. And then I cut this out, and that's, that's uh, not of that period, of course, of the 30s, but it does um, look pretty, the coloring of it, and it has a red marble top. And then I basically could do this out of some book. And I do have a hard time finding books with flowers. I do believe I just bought one, and I haven't looked at it yet. But I don't know what kind of flowers it has. I know I did just get one of birds, too. And I have a problem with finding those, too. I don't seem to have too many in thrift shops and um, old bookstores. I have been looking. And then I have some of these, and... I made these little collaging and whatnot, and I just have the, it has the same type of coloring and feeling, so I, I put them together. I, I don't know if I'll use them or not, but I gather things that might work. And this is from an old postcard. It's a copy, but it's some collaging and stuff, and I made that. This takes a long time to make, to put the, to weave it this way, but it, I like the way it looks when you do that, and what you do is you take all the trims of your papers and weave it like you're doing a pie crust, uh, really. And then I backed it with some pretty paper, and just different types of little ephemera pieces, and I always like using these, so I'm probably going to be running out of them, but... I like using the old typewriter look, and here's another um, business card. And but I like the I keep them because I've seen some lady doing them on one of the crafting shows and um on her show um, YouTube channel. And I don't remember who she was, but I thought that was so cool the way she was using them. And of course, I think she covered out the, the dresses and whatnot. And anyway, I keep I do that. And here's a pretty piece that I bought. And it was a nicer antique store that we have in our area. And they had a bunch of these. And some of these came from 
like New York from a place that um, I suppose created um, would sell all these old material and laces. Well, they weren't old then, of course, but they were new then. But um, they're old now. This is probably over 100 years old. If not, it's close to it. And um, some of these pieces were from Ireland, I believe it was, and England. Um, no, from France. They were from France. And some were handmade, and um, they had it written on there. And I guess these were samples and things like that for people to look at, and buyers or what have you. I don't know. But I, I think it was fun. I bought them really cheap. Some of them were like 50 cents. Some were a dollar. And I, some of them I got pieces really big that I did show on an earlier thing. And So that's what I'm going to be doing is working on this book. And that's how I go about doing it. And I feel like it has the feel of the Agatha Christie type novels. And it made me think of that. So... That's what I'm trying to do here, and um, I'll probably put some lace on one of the pages. Find a plain page here. I'll probably just, I'll probably stick this whole thing on, just cut some off here like that, and then, then I can use this little piece with this tag on it somewhere else. But I don't know, something, I think it'll be pretty.